back at West Hills Stadium in Langford, BC, where it's West Shore taking on Port Alberni Black Sheep. The men from West Shore in blue and black with the 19 to 10 lead over Port Alberni in gray and black kit. It was a three point penalty that started off the scoring in the first half, followed in quick succession by three tries from West Shore. Port Alberni did, however, get themselves back into the game with a try courtesy of Joe Kaluga. Kalugin, my apologies. And that makes the score 19 to 10 as we start the second half here. Logan Martin Feek with ball in hand for West Shore, assessing what to do with this penalty. And this one will be sent into touch. Pretty good looking kick as that one will be about 10 meters worth of work left to do for West Shore. Line out throw into the hands, but not done cleanly, says our referee. And we will have a scrum to Port Alberni. So we saw in the first half, Port Alberni were in a very similar situation, not able to connect on the line out, resulting in a penalty. This similar, where West Shore is poised to score a try deep inside the 22, and a mistake at the line out denies them that opportunity, at least for now, as it will be a put in to Brennan Tarongo, Port Alberni. Anthony Selva had it briefly before being brought down. Now to uh, Rob Brown, just a moment ago, who's getting into the game in the second half here. Fly half Todd Dardich has been busy. He's held up and West Shore trying to cause the turnover deep inside enemy territory. Paselli Lawani using that strength to get the ball ripped free and end that uh, unplayable maul. Asieli Roko Tui Wakaya trying to dance around some tackles. Looks like the tackler had his hands on the ball before Luwani spun him away. And he can't do that. Tackler not releasing the ball carrier. So a penalty to Port Alberni. Right underneath their own uh, goal posts and it's going to be kicked towards touch but it stays in field. And that sets up a nice counterattack opportunity here for West Shore through the hands of Cody Gervais. Ryan McKnight, who has a try for West Shore in this game, gets the call on that last play. Now into the hands of Connor Bottrell. Big man who plays flanker for West Shore. They switch sides over to another big man, Matt Harland, with some space. And now something looks like it's on here for West Shore as Caleb Whitehurst is racing to the corner. And Whitehurst is in for the try for West Shore. The big outside center wearing number 13, Caleb Whitehurst, has West Shore's fourth try of the day. And that puts him in bonus point land already as we've only played four minutes of this second half and their offense has looked pretty potent today although they haven't put this game away by any stretch they have certainly looked good on attack
So the try from Whitehurst, bumping his team's scoreline now up to 24. Logan Martin Feek, the winger, will try to add a couple more on this difficult angled conversion attempt. And this one will be just off. So Martin Feek will be a little bit disappointed with his kicking game so far today, having split the uprights just one time thus far. That's not really a problem when the tries keep pouring in. And West Shore have four of them so far. There remain 35 minutes to play in this men's first division game here at West Hills Stadium. We continue on our coverage later on today on bcrugby.com slash live. You will be able to enjoy Canada's senior men's team take on Brazil in the America's Rugby Championship Canada with one win and one loss so far in that competition. Brazil still looking for their first win. Schultz trying to work his way forward. Back into the pocket where Roar's kick is heading towards touch, but it will stay in. Dardish not getting all of that ball. Logan Martin Feek taking it. And he will return the volley. The whistle goes and an offside call coming here. As West Shores check that Port Alberni's fullback. Slow to get up, but he now does so is uh, John Simington. So the chasers were ahead of the kicker in that situation and uh, did not retreat back. We saw that a couple of times in that Canada versus USA U20 game. It's a bit of an unusual call to make, but we uh, do see it called from time to time. And that is one of those cases just now, which results in a penalty slashed into touch with about 30 more meters to go for West Shore. Here's another great line being run by Whitehurst. He'll get it out to our number 21. I haven't checked the names that far down the list. Connor Llewellyn with that last run, but he stopped short before he can cross the line. However, West Shore still on attack. Martin Feek taps it quickly, looking for the line. Stopped just a meter shy. A little bit scrambly now is back into the hands of Llewellyn. And there's obstruction run that is going to bring this try back. West Shore thought they'd scored, but some obstruction against the tacklers preventing the legality of that try. And Port Alberni a bit fortunate that the referee was right on the scene and able to make that call and help them... Uh, keep the gap as 15 points where it is right now. So good officiating on that play, being in a good position, but uh, a slightly different turn of events could have very easily resulted in that try being awarded. 
Referee right there on the scene to make the call.